People say, oh, did you have a really bad allergic reaction? And that's why your eye looks how it does. Things around looking like I've been burnt. Who punched you? You look like you've been burned by an iron. Uh, you're disgusting. I've even been called things like an avatar or a care bear. It's quite sad that they find happiness out of saying bad things about people. I'm Sophie, I'm 15 years old and I have a visible difference. My name is Nikki, I'm 14 years old and I have a visible difference. I like experimenting. I never really know what I'm going to do, I just kind of play around. So I'm just going to put like a base eyeshadow on so that everything blends right. I use makeup now as just called a fun thing. I like kind of experimenting, doing different things. I used to be very stressed about what it looked like. I kind of first realised that I had kind of a difference to everyone else when I was about seven or eight. Um, first time I'd kind of been picked on about it and then it kind of made me think, well, why, why is someone picking on me? I felt like I needed to cover up my birthmark, mainly to stop myself worrying about other people. When I used to go out, I was very self-conscious of what other people were thinking of me and I'd have people staring at me and pointing at me and I kind of, I wanted to get rid of that so that I could enjoy my time out and not having to worry about other people. I'm gonna use my finger and just use like a shimmery shade. Where do I start? There's too much. Um, <laughs> I think I might start with a little bit of base because I mean, that's where I usually start. I definitely did try and hide my face and even then you know my face wasn't as you couldn't really see the veins as much as you can now but I got a fringe so that I could cover my eye and I wore a bit of makeup so that I could hide some of my veins. I first realized when I was um, in the bathroom and washing my face and then I just looked in the mirror and tried to like scrub off the veins and stuff on my face and I think that's when I realized that I did look different and it wasn't something that was going to come off. Am I going to go natural? I've got a crazy shade but I don't think it will go with my makeup. This is like a proper dark purple. Right. At the beginning it was hard to walk outside and feel confident and not feel, you know, over aware of people looking at me. I also felt kind of sad that I've was covering myself up to please other people and the fact that I was kind of hiding myself away to not necessarily help but just to stop people staring at me. And that's my makeup done. Ta-da! So this is me with my makeup on. I felt like no one looked like me, I felt like no one had the same confidence issues as me and no one was in my position with looking different. And I think it's really important to realise that you're not alone. Meeting other people with visible differences through Changing Faces has been one of the best things that happened. I always used to tell my mum, I want to meet people like me, I want to experience things with other people because I knew I could relate to them. Hello. <laughs> so we first met when we were filming for a different campaign for Changing Faces in... When, when did we meet? May? Yeah, I think it was May. Ever since, I, we've literally talked every day. From everything, from like school to exams to literally everything. So I think for me, I used to cover up my birthmark yeah. because I was so self-conscious, like I didn't want people to stare at me, I didn't want the attention. Totally. But I think I just learned that I didn't need to change myself, like I was covering up something that made me different because yeah. I thought it would help me, um, but I kind of realised it didn't yeah. and I just... And it makes you you. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, makeup has always been something like similar to you where it's not necessarily to cover something up, it's more to just help with confidence really and it's always been that way, you know, I could easily like you know, layer on loads of makeup and cover the veins on my face. But I choose to, you know, put a little bit of makeup on that side so they're still, you know, showing through. And it's just a way to express yourself. We can wear makeup. We may look different. We can wear makeup and so can anyone else. We're normal friends yeah. and we don't feel the need to talk about looking different. And we talk about normal things because we're just average people. Yeah. Yeah. 
we look different, but we're not different. So.